Hi guys, my name is Jonathan. Uh, today is October 3rd. Right now it's 5 p.m. Uh, Saturday. So happy Saturday uh, to all of you guys who uh, are watching right now. Um, so for this video, I'm going to talk about Samsung trade-in program. Uh, how does it work? How to do it? And, you know, step by step. So today, uh, the phone that I'll be trading in is the Samsung uh, S9 Plus. So Samsung S9 Plus. Uh, you do not have to send in your case, but since I won't be having this phone, so there is no point for me to keep the case. So I'll probably just be sending in the phone uh, with the case as well. So the first step to start with the trade-in program or the Samsung trade-in program is that you have to go to their website. Uh, either you are buying a new phone or or whatever, a tablet or iPad or something like that, uh, they give you the option of either you want to trade in your phone or a iPhone or phone from a different company as well. Uh, they'll ask you a few questions. First of all, they'll ask you if the phone uh, is able to be turned on. So would you, are you able to hit the power button and would the phone actually lights up and turn on and everything by itself? And second question is that they'll ask you if the phone is crack so like mine is actually has crack screen on it so in terms of crack screen um they are not really um very picky about crack screen uh well i'm sure that you probably get less for the trade-in value if you have a crack screen compared to a screen that is not cracked so when i i actually bought i'm currently using my um samsung s20 fe 5g uh, I actually trade my S9 Plus in, so they are giving me uh, 300 bucks for it. And uh, when I was doing the trade, and they'll they'll the questionnaire they'll ask you that um, if the phone turn on. Obviously, I say yes. Uh, they'll ask you if it's the phone is cracked and everything, and then they also ask you if you are able to reset into a factory um, setting. So reset your phone. So. Let's talk about before you send it in. Obviously, you want to keep all your data. So you want to back it up. Uh, if you watch my previous video or last few video, you probably seen how to do it. There's three different ways to do it. Or there's actually many different ways to do it. But the best way, if you have a Samsung phone, the way to do it is do um, smart switch. So smart switch, as long as both phone is on, uh, you just open the app the smart switch app and they were able to transfer the all the data from the old phone to the new phone and directly uh, copy everything identical so that's the best way to do it so after you finish backing up or transferring all your information to the the new phone what you do next is uh, you want to reset them so what you want we say is you go to your setting and then make sure you, it's just not a regular backup or reset you want it to be a factory reset so what factory reset is that they erase all your data, all your password, all the information on here so that um, wh whoever be using this phone or whoever is going to turn on this phone, it'll go to the main setting. So there's nothing. So like I was saying, um, yeah, uh, factory reset, erase everything on the phone so that when you send this in, uh, when you send the trade in phone in, you are not able to get it back. Your photos, everything, you are not able to get it back. And so it is very important that you erase everything so that nobody nobody have your password or your credit card information or your address. So this is basically, that's it. So in terms of also, if you want to sell your phone, you also want to do the factory reset as well because people that who's going to buy your phone, they don't want all that. Well, you don't want them to have all your information. So after that is done, uh, Samsung will actually uh, send you out a prepaid label. Looks something like this, prepaid label. On the bottom side, it has the information that you fill in. So the the information that I fill in is, uh, does the device turn on? I put down yes when I answer the question. Uh, would the device be factory reset? I say yes on it, so I already did that already. Is the device uh, free of crack? And it's no on that because obviously I do have a cracked screen, but they are able to accept my phone and still give me $300 for it, So which that's pretty good. So what you want to do is obviously you want to cut the bottom label out. Um, this this information is for the person that who is receiving the phone. So whoever warehouse you're sending it to from Samsung warehouse or somewhere, um, I guess 
I'll be sending it to Texas. The address is from Texas. So this is the return label. That is going to be outside the box. This is going to be inside the box. So let me quickly show you guys how the packaging works. So the box that I'm using, this box is directly from the phone that I received. So yesterday I got my Samsung S9, uh, S20. Uh, it came in this box. It has a label and everything. But it also has a bubble wrap. So if you don't have a bubble wrap, you could use a newspaper or anything just stuff inside so that the phone doesn't bounce around. So first thing obviously you want to do is you want to wrap the phone. You don't want this thing to you know bounce around, damage the phone. Um, because you want to get your discount, you want to get your rebate, or I guess it's not really a rebate, it's, uh, your trade in value. So, what you want to do is tape it. Uh, I actually bubble wrap, you see that? So, I just kind of wrap it around, um, and then you want to tape it. Okay, guys, so obviously, I wrap it in like a ball to so like a cylindrical shape. Um, so it shouldn't be able to fall out and then I have two extra pieces right here so what you want to do is that the box obviously is empty right now what you want to do is put it in the box and then you know I got some extra so I'm going to stiff it put it on the side of it I'm sorry let me stand up maybe you can see so something like that so on the side so it, it give a cushion and then what you want to do the return label um, this part, the bottom part, you want to put it inside the box. So you want to put it inside the box. So whoever we see this box, when they open it, they know what they are expecting. A phone that is cracked screen, but it does turn on and it has a factory reset. So it's easier for the worker to see. And next thing is obviously you want to close this up and tape it up. So let me quickly tape this. Okay guys, so I... Tape it up. I have the instruction in, in the inside uh, for the receiver to see. And then in terms of uh, the label, where to put it. So obviously you could put it on top right here as well if you want to. But I actually won't be doing that. I'm actually going to. So make sure when you send it back, you want to cover this part. This is the receiving part. When I got this uh, package, uh, that's the label that they sent it to me on. And obviously you could manually remove it, but it just happened to be this size is perfect, exactly the same size. So I'm just going to tape over it so that I don't really have to remove this one. Because if I'm going to tape this on top, I need to use a white out, remove this white piece of paper somehow. But I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to tape over it. Okay guys, so that's the new label that I just taped on. So everything's good to go. The phone is inside, protected by the bubble wrap. Also, um, you got the label on the side. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that when, before you reset your phone uh, to the factory setting, make sure you also um, get, get the IMEI number from the phone. So what you could do that is go do the setting and then look for the IMEI, uh, IMEI number. You could also do a search. Um, all Samsung phone on the top of it, does it have a, they have a search bar, just type in IMEI number, it's sort of like a serial number, so you want to keep it for yourself, just in case if they have any question or if they, when they receive it, if something is not working, or um, you also have to, you could also check if your IMEI, IMEI number is good, because uh, sometimes some phone is stolen, so they have a block on it, or they might have like a ban on that IMEI number. So in terms of that, that's pretty good. Um, you just gotta drop this off to the FedEx. And when you drop it off, make sure you ask them for like a um, receipt with something to prove that you actually dropped this off or something tracking. I don't know if they offer that, but I'll try dropping off and ask for a receipt of some sort. Uh, I'm sure they're able to give it to me. So I tape everything up, um, tape the top. The phone is inside, so if you shake it around, it's totally safe. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you have any suggestion or anything that I miss, uh, please leave a comment uh, below. And you know, we all could learn from that. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Um, if you get a chance, please subscribe. And that's it. Thanks.